coverage, so that doesn't matter individually. Inside to Shaq, there comes the double. Turns inside, reverse layup, no good. Bosch takes the rebound. Uh, that, that, I like this lineup, though, the way they're starting out with Donnell on Shaquille because that means Donnell's going to have to expend a lot of energy on the defensive end. Expended a lot of energy in the first offensive possession for the Toronto Raptors, an offensive rebound and basket for Donnell Marshall. A little bit, obviously got hit on that first foray under the Raptors' basket. Inside to Shaquille once again. Double team immediately comes. Shaq now triple team. Nice pass to Medvedenko. High Archer, and the Lakers tied at two. And because uh, Bosch is the guy guarding Slava again, he's the one leaving Slava. Slava has to flash to the free throw line area. Chris Bosch. It's just uh, more precautionary than anything. Yeah, that's something new. He's really a fine young rookie out of Georgia Tech. He's 19 years of age. Shaq reverse and the slam dunk. And if he catches and goes in a hurry before the double team gets there most of the time, he's going to have his way because Daniel Marshall. Those picked up on the switch, now back guarded by Kareem Rush. Outside jumper, Bosch not there, and that's the plan, obviously, for Toronto. Hits some outside shots early, buys their bigs, and there's the plan for the Lakers. Down inside the layup, good, and the foul. Jack will be going to the line. And you know what? That's Chris Bosch's shot, though. He's missed two in a row. That is his shot. He's going to start knocking that shot down as the Lakers, out in transition, uh, find an easy opportunity for Shaquille. Just throw it over the top by Devin George. Easy layup by the big fella. Uh, I really do. I would, I would force the ball to Shaquille and double what they normally do. I'd make Shaquille go for 40 points today. Shaq good on the free throw. Again, played 18 minutes in his first game back on Wednesday from the floor. Yeah, but yet they're only down by five, so they're, they're right there. Carter with it right side, Devin George staying in front. Carter goes behind his back, nice pass to Boss. Beautiful looking jump shot. Yeah, that's his shot. I mean, he's going to keep taking it because that's the shot he likes, and Phil Jackson doesn't like it very much. The defensive lineman just ripped right through him to try to create some space. The Lakers hit a little dry spell, still very early in this game, and Shaq staying down in the low post. Here comes extra white bodies and just go there every time, Stu. Well, I mean, I just don't think that they can double team there. Shaquille says, you better come with a little something stronger than that. My calf might not be 100%. I can get to this one. Outside to Daniel Marshall, freed up on the inbounds pass and a real breakdown for the Lakers. Now, that's, that should not happen. That just flat out should not happen. 9-7 now, the Lakers on top. Shaq positioning setting himself down in the low post. Now you see where Bosch is? Bosch has got a flash into the middle there and make him pay for the Shaq on the offensive board. Alvin Williams has less than no chance, and Shaq throws it back down. Nine quick points looking for 10. Now he's on the sideline once again with foul trouble as the Lakers lead at 11-7. Carter gets his score, turns on the Jets baseline, and he's held there by Devin George, who picks up his first person. And that's what they would love to see Vince do more of. Catch the ball and look to take it to the rack as opposed to catch and shoot fall away three-pointers all the time. I mean, he's very athletic. Getting his health back, obviously, as he's only missed three games this season. So uh, getting to the free throw line is going to be vital for him. Carter goes down in the low post. Shaq's over. Very aware. Here comes Carter turning, spinning. Oh, Devin George fouled him. A nice smart play by Carter to finish off the shot. Didn't score it, but he'll get two free throws, and that's the second personal foul on Devin George. Athletic, and obviously it helps to have someone who's long out there. Carter just turned 27 years of age last week, makes the second of two free throws. The Lakers still lead it 11 to 8. Jack's got nine of those 11. Peyton with it down in the corner, guarded by Williams. Russell cuts through the lane outside the Grant. There it is, the flash to the top of the key, and Horace takes advantage. He's going to be open just about all the time, but they continue with that set defensively. Peyton comes around to screen from Russell. Goes down inside, looking for one of his favorite moves. Outside to Russell, thought about the three, puts it on the floor. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. Bosch backs inside. Shaq's got it one-on-one, -on -one working against Russell. Brian Russell, a long three-pointer. That's going to go. It wasn't too long, that's for sure. Because <laughs> Brian Russell tracked down a little bit of an errant pass and recognized shot clock winding down and has been. Then go ahead and take care of business yourself. Foul away from the play. Is that going to be on Rick Fox? Absolutely. He tried to undress Vince Carter coming from week to straw. This morning as he was headed up in the elevator for the Lakers team meeting at their nearby hotel. And I asked him how his foot was feeling. He said, you know, it's good. That position. Let's see what they do. Danielle Marshall.
Got scared. Is he shield on Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, no, no. And Shaq gets it together. And what a nice pass, a catch, and a finish. And that's really makes Shaquille run and play defense even more. When he runs the floor like that, and you recognize it and get him the ball. Rick Fox looks up. Nice pass. Just the right touch on it. Shaquille with the catch, the finish, the foul. Three-point opportunity. Shaq completes the three-point play, and the Lakers lead it now 19-13. Williams comes out of the backcourt for Toronto. And Derek Fisher comes in. The Lakers uh, put Kareem Rush to the sideline for the moment. Derek Fisher's been aggressive and shooting the ball exceptionally well. And good, strong play by Jalen Rose, who wanted a hoop and went right after it. Yeah, went right after his left hand. Once, twice, he's a good offensive rebounder, keeps it alive out to Williams. Second chance opportunity in that one. Barely off the front of the iron. I tell you, the Lakers have left the door open for Toronto yes. to really not only stay in the game as they are, but to go ahead. But they don't want to walk through again. Inside the shack, you leave that door open too many times. And Chris Bosch, I'll tell you, Toronto just ran away. They did not help their rookie at all. Oh, there's the entry pass from the corner, though. That seems to be the most successful entry pass for the Lakers uh, against the Pikes of defense. Jalen Rose, good step in, step in. Bosch there for the offensive rebound. Shaq had to step outside to help. When Shaq stepped out, though, really nobody went to the glass. That's where all four guys have to go. Neil, I'm with you. Toronto is not taking advantage as Milk Palacio comes on for Jalen Rose. Carter holds the ball in one hand. He's double teamed. Throws a bad pass. Palacio goes to get it. And there's Mo Peterson right on cue, Steve. And he's fouled. Four-point opportunity coming, and there's this, the scenario. They had Vince Carter trapped in the corner. When he threw the ball cross court, that forced uh, Horace Grant to run into the corner to try to get to the shooter, and his momentum carried him right into Mo Pete. Knocked him down, four-point opportunity, and just like that, it could be a two-point game. Free throw not close. Peterson a 40% three-point shooter. Kevin O'Neill signals out to Carter to hold the ball for one shot. 15 seconds right now remaining in the opening period. You know, they can go into the second quarter leading after the Lakers jumped on them early but couldn't really get the kind of separation they wanted. Lakers come out and they jump on Carter who takes the shot very early and makes a 19-footer. 2.5 seconds remaining. Walton looking for somewhere to bring it in. Peyton's going to have to throw up a prayer from just south of midcourt, and that bangs off the backboard. Well, after all of that, after 16 points from Shaquille O'Neal in the first 12 minutes of play, we're right back where we started. We're tied on KCAL 9. Assume he's going to get it. You can't make that kind of assumption. Derek Fisher pulled that jump shot right over Palacio. Real nice looking shot by Derek as the Lakers uh, open up a three point advantage here. As Biggs to rebound and tuck, protect that basketball and get your head. Look around, see where the how many of the enemy jerseys you spot. If you can't see them all, somebody must be behind them. Nice pass to Rick Fox down inside. Who's got the layup? Good pass. That's just good recognition by Rick Fox, and especially by Derek Fisher. Rick uh, on the weak side comes from weak to strong along the baseline. And uh, after receiving the pass from Luke Walton, Fisher with the bounce pass. Rick gets undercut just a bit. Three-point opportunity coming as the Lakers again open up a five-point lead. Third personal foul on Jalen Rose. He has to go to the sideline, just like the Lakers met Videnko. That's the second team foul on Toronto. Free throw completes the three-point play for Rick Fox. Rest for the second half. Inside to Marshall, working against Grant. A couple of dribbles, pull-up jump hook is nicely made. Yeah, they're going to have to send a double on that particular set there. I, I really think that Daniel Marshall's key uh, to the Lakers' victory. Okay, another thing that Rick Fox really brings to this team, Stu, and you know, this is a good to run this offense. Nice play by Derek Fisher on the curl, moving to the right. Uh, Toronto, the, the Cardinals sin. They switched <laughs> for Luke to make sure he keeps the body on Second opportunity. Here comes Peterson. Throws a bad pass. The ball's on the floor, and the Lakers have it ahead of the pack. Hey, working against Peterson. Fends him off, lays it up nicely, and in using his body. That's a good job by just keeping his body from allowing Peterson to get a shot blocking angle. Right. Eight minutes, 29 seconds to go in the half. A lot of basketball left to be played as Derek Fisher knocks it down on KCAL 9.
long rebound, and that was a lucky, lucky save by Palacio. Nice spin move down in the lane. Luke Walton rejects the shot, and the Lakers have got it. Nice recovery. That's not quitting on the play, because that was a nice offensive move, but Luke stayed with it and makes the defensive play. Devin George back on after he, too, picking up a couple of early fouls. Managed only seven minutes. Walton back to the basket, gives the ball to Rush. Nice two-man game. Back out to Walton, who knocks down a shot. Really struggled against Minnesota. Yeah, he made a, his first shot against Minnesota a three, but then after that, he'd help on the weak side again by Luke Walton, because he's the guy that got a hand on it. Stopped an easy one. This unit doing a good job extending the Lakers' uh, lead. Pull-up jump shot, good by Alvin Williams out of Villanova. I've always liked Alvin. I mean, I, you know, he's related to you. can't shoot, you can't score. I think uh, Kevin O'Neal, though, is worried, more worried about their defense. Shaq gets down inside, nice pass. Walton digs it out. He dropped it, and a good cut by Walton. And the big fella says, nice job. I see if you just keep doing it, just catch the ones I throw to you and, and score them so I can get me some assists. You had to make a difficult shot. Oh, the lead. <laughs> Bosch left all alone. And you're right, Stu. That young man out of Georgia Tech has got a beautiful stroke. Yeah, I mean, he can shoot the basketball. So you, you make sure you stay with him. Even if you're undersized, that guard on him, you still stay there and force him to do something else. Bosch now with half a dozen. Back to Walton. Back to Shaq in traffic. Play. Lay it up and in a couple of six-inch passes. What are they doing? Playing uh, <laughs> two-man basketball with each other? Well, they sure are having fun. Smiles all around between Shaquille and Luke. A lot of fans are complaining on the call, but the foul wasn't on Bosch. That was a clean block. The foul was on Mo Peterson. As the Devin George will be going to the free throw line when we come back and see if he can scratch for the first time on KCAL 9. I think I'm going to go with the Carolina Panthers. I'd like to see the underdog come up and bite them. I'd like to argue with you, but I, I go the same way. <laughs> hey, my hometown hadn't had a football team in a long, long time, so I'm going with the underdog today. No question about that. I want to see Carolina pull off a big upset. Carter back in the game. Missed that jump shot. Devin's got to be careful already with a couple of personal fouls, and the Lakers force a turnover. Luke Walton quickly ahead to Peyton. Toronto's back defensively. The Lakers won the first meeting very easily. Walton down the lane. Playing some game with Shaq. I tell you, they've they got something going here. You know what it is, what they've got going? Basketball. They understand the game, and Lou needs to help. Shaq must be open. If you don't have it, move to the open area. Palacio outside. Good play by Shaq coming over to help. The rotation is there, but an offensive rebound. Spun up and in nicely left-handed by Carter. And that was good team help, though, by the Lakers. Uh, everybody was helping. Shaquille stepped out, tried to help, and they just didn't get the offensive, I mean, the defensive rebound. Walton well, maybe forcing it a little bit too much. Oh, Gary Payton with the steal. Yeah, Shaq wanted it. Come on, he can hear about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Gary said, if you want it, do something to hurt. And I stole that one. I'm getting that one easy deuce for myself. <laughs> Two for five. I've got five early. Carter on the perimeter. The Lakers now up by 13. Kareem Rush back on the floor. Chris Bosh battling with Kareem Rush. Makes a nice play to get the rebound. Unselfish play. Daniel Marshall in the lane a long time. He was so wide open, and Mo Peterson found it. Well, the Lakers did not react after that uh, loose ball scramble there. They did effort against Minnesota on Friday night. This again, just the first of a seven-game trip. Shaq down inside, carving out space. Lays it up, and then he's got 22. Boy, he, he just made a spin move on Daniel Marshall. Daniel, he, he might have heard him go by. He surely didn't see it. Close out this last three minutes yep. strong. Close this out and really break this thing open. Here comes Carter, floating down the lane. Makes a tough shot over Shaquille and away from Devin George. Yeah, that's a tough shot because Shaquille came over, but Vince jumped off of one foot and was falling backwards on the play. Shaq couldn't get to it. Walton pull up, dribble, now looking uh, right side. George has got it. Shaq being double teamed away from the ball. Somebody's got to be open. Right now it's Walton into the corner to Peyton, closed out by Palacio. Peyton dribbles all the way in. Beautiful drive and no help coming for Palacio. I mean, I, I just don't think, maybe the Toronto Raptors heard a whistle or something because they, everybody just stood still and let Gary waltz his way to the basket. Carter set a couple of screens. He shoots a fall away jump shot, rims in and out. Peyton grabbed the rebound because nobody else was moving for him. Yes, everybody else thought the ball was going to go in. They just stood and looked. Rush looking down inside, Walton as well. Walton brings the ball back outside to create some more space. Ten on the shot clock, outside to Payton, a three-pointer. Knocks it down again, Gary Payton continues to sizzle from three-point range. 
I just like the fact that he's looking to be more aggressive offensively. Give it some credit. They came in, uh, gave Shaquille a nice little rest, and they did the job. Carter wants to spin outside to Peterson. Here comes Marshall, still plenty of time on the shot clock, forces up a 15-footer and makes it nicely over Payton. That's a tough shot. He never did get his feet under him. He was floating on it, but still was able to convert. Kicking his head. It wasn't me. It was somebody else. He gives the ball to the Lakers out of bounds with 12 seconds, and Fields going to take a 20-second timeout. That's 20 good. You got one to use. You can't take it with you into the second half. You might as well utilize it. 20-second timeout on KCAL 9. The game clock. Obviously, passing an IQ test not required, sitting close to the floor. Peyton looking inside to Shaq. Nine on the shot clock. Shaq being double team. Carter hanging right there. Looking. Oh, nice cut by Kareem rushing a beautiful pass by Shaquille. You got to move. Even though there's a double team, you can't stand and spectate. Move. If somebody dies just like Kareem Rush does, that's going to really free up not only Kareem, maybe, but somebody else. That was very good patience by the Lakers and a beautiful pass by Shaq. Four seconds remaining in the period. That's missed. Luke Walton nicely takes the rebound. Jump and a, ball. a jump ball. Boy, Luke went down hard. He's a rook. <laughs> He's not going to get any sympathy. Good effort on the rebound by Luke and Brian Russell. And Mo Peterson gets underneath Luke. And Luke, uh, very lucky, he didn't twist that knee or something. And, uh, not only the quick tip, but the catch and shot. That's the key. And with Danielle Marshall down there, you may want to slide a person on both sides of him. That way you can slide uh, out to get to the free throw line extension. Luke does a very good job of battling for that tip and obvious pain. He'll be checked as he goes to the sideline as the Lakers outscored the Raptors during that period, 31 to 15. Well, I'll give credit to the Lakers, especially Gary Payton, who had all 10 of his points in that second quarter. Also got a lot of help from Luke Walton. At the end of the first half, the score is the Lakers 54, the Raptors 38. Now let's join Alan Massingale for the Jack in the Box halftime report. Do not settle for just a little bit of a lead. Shaq with it. Out to Devin George once again. Catch and shoot in rhythm. No. Shaq there for the offensive rebound. And he's going to be called the loose ball foul going against Shaquille. That's his second. The fourth team foul on the Lakers. Over the top of Danielle Marshall. The Lakers out of fouls with a lifetime left in the period. It's a closer game. And that shouldn't be today. Today the Lakers should dominate this team. And this is the first of back-to-backs tomorrow night at Indiana, the best team right now in the Eastern Conference. So uh, minutes at the start of a long trip. If you can cut them down, you got to do that. Lakers lead it by 13, 55, 42. That's why you go for the juggler so fast. I and mean, when you get a, a lead, you really try to build upon it in a row. Medvedenko turns. Shaq puts that one away. Give him a rebound and a basket. Shaq just walked Danielle Marshall under the basket that time. When Danielle jumped, he, he was too far under to get the rebound. Shaq cleaned it up easily. Pass over to Jalen Rose. Cut off nicely. Outside to Bosch. Wants to go on. Shaq comes inside. Shaq strips the ball away. But a foul is called. And you, you mentioned it, Stu. Picking up in bunches right now. They don't know where they have to protect and how they do certain things. That's why it's so important to have a good point guard. Boy, Chris Bosch is a nice-looking rookie. He's going to have a fine, fine NBA career. Rush working on Jalen Rose. Nine on the shot clock outside to Medvedenko. Shaq wants the ball rotated. Better passing angle. Daniel Marshall came over the top, and no foul is called. Williams comes left side to Carter. Nice pass back to Williams. Not close there, and there's Bosch to tip it up and in. Well, Schlava was battling with two uh, Raptors that time. Bosch and Daniel Marshall, and couldn't get the rebound and if you look at the scoreboard you can see what I'm talking about it's now an 11 point game and momentum shifting towards Toronto as they get called for an illegal defense Williams with it wants to come around to screen from Bosch the rookie out of Georgia Tech working on a double double he's got 10 points 10 rebounds crossover dribble by Carter some contact outside he got tangled up with Rick Fox, and uh, he will be charged with a personal foul. It'll be yet more free throws coming to Toronto. A little crossover here, or not a little crossover, a big crossover, as Rick Fox was guarding Vince Carter. Gary Payton trying to help and gets fouled, and he's back to the charity stripe, and that's really where he's done uh, most of his damage. This is his ninth free throw. He misses it. He's now six out of nine. Free throw up and good by Carter. And uh, just as Phil Jackson and the rest of the Laker coaches were talking 
to John Ireland at halftime. Toronto getting to the line an awful lot still already. Their eighth free throw in the period. He's in there a long time. Archibald pushing on Shaquille. Ten on the shot clock. Shaq down inside. Turns away from the triple team. Misses that. Another nice rebound by Bosch. And that's when you know Shaquille is getting back. When he's making... Oh, that's a tough call for Garrett. Tough call. He had great position defensively. But he's going to call you for the uh, reach in with the right hand. That's going to send Jalen Rose to the free throw line for two. Five minutes, 50 seconds to go in the third quarter. And the Lakers trying to hold on. They lead it 59-47 on KCAL 9. Lakers out of fouls since the 840 mark. Now are joined by Toronto. Jack being double teamed. Now he's got some room to operate. Steps in the lane, finds Gary Payton. Wide open, did he beat the clock? I didn't think so. I did not think so. I'm with you, Stu. Yeah. I thought it was late. Well, I thought it was still in his hand when he shot the ball. Yeah. Ball was still in his hands. Uh, pass out from Shaquille. It has to be out of your hands. No part of your hand can be touching the ball. I thought it was a good call. Well, that's a break for Toronto. It's a good pass by Shaquille, but certainly time winding down. And the Lakers are having some difficulty now at the offensive end. Another foul is called against the Lakers. This is a holding violation called against Derek Fisher. So Alvin Williams will go to the free throw line. I think he got the players mixed up. If that was a foul, it would have been on Rick Fox as, as he pushed into... Uh, no, no, Derek did grab his arm. Good call. Because Vince is not shooting up free throws very well. Uh, 7 out of 11, now 8 out of 12, but getting there 12 times. Lakers got to clean up their defense a little bit here in the second half. It's one of the knocks on him, and rightfully so. Does not attack the basket with regularity. Only nine, it's only a 9-point game. Yep. Uh, we mentioned at halftime, a lifetime left. Rick Fox away from Vince Carter, rubbing his head. He got caught up on a screen down inside, and Rick Fox, I'll tell you, Rick Fox looks pretty comfortable, moving well, and playing some more minutes. Chevrolet presents this classic Chick moment. Chick was honored with many accolades throughout his career, including a musical tribute offered by three Laker tenors. Talk this way, talk this way, Chicky! Technical foul was called on Vince Carter. He's not singing this afternoon, and boy, nothing to sing about this period, Stu. This has been uh, tough to watch. This is ugly, flat ugly. Not only the turnovers, but the shooting. Williams. Fox has got it back to the basket. Has very good low post moves. Outside the paint, shot clock down to five. Grant comes over to set a screen, pull up, jump shot, counts if it goes, does not. Fisher will shoot a pair. Derek did a good job because when he got to pass from Gary, he had already peaked at the shot clock. He, well, they've got 15 offensive rebounds, so that helps you get back to the charity stripe as well. The Lakers just uh, fortunate that this Toronto team is not only coming a little unraveled at this point, but just hasn't played well all day long. And I'm surprised Danielle Marshall still on the sidelines. 15 points, 10 rebounds. Rick Fox called for a bumping foul along the sideline. That gets Phil Jackson up off the sideline once again or off the Laker bench as Carter will go back as Toronto continues its march to the free throw line in the opening uh, quarter, Stu. Free throw up and good again. Carter now with 16 points. Just 3 of 12 from the floor. No Palacio will be in on the next dead ball. Jack needs a touch here. he got to work against Archibald. Maybe doesn't need it as Gary Payton frees himself for an easy two. I love Gary Payton yep. in the post because he's just so good at spinning and getting himself where he needs to go. 250 remaining in the third. Morris Peterson, an exceptional three-point shooter. The Lakers will be aware of that. Derek Fisher guarding him. Jalen Rose gives it up to Peterson. Sets his feet behind the line, and he knocks down the three. And that's a nice extra pass by Jalen Rose. Jalen hasn't shot the ball very well. Only one out of four. He says, hey, I got it up. Fox with it, continuing to play some extended minutes. Uh, Horace Grant left all alone and pulled the string on a 17-footer. And here comes Toronto. They only trail it by 11. Jalen Rose spins down the little up over Peyton, count the basket, and the foul. What was the foul, though? That was the key. After he did his spin move, Gary did not even move. And he's getting a three-point opportunity here. Not Gary a, Payton pleading his case, and I think he's got a good one. It's too late now to plead it, although nothing you can do as he goes up. 
shoots, scores, three-point opportunity as Gary goes to the bench. Green Rush back into the game, and Jalen Rose now trying to make it an eight-point game as he scores a little floater. Well, Peyton goes to the sideline in the backcourt now is Green Rush and Derek Fisher, and there's just where it is. 66 to 58, 214 remaining in the third. Left side to Fox, Kareem Rush down the lane into Shaquille, who is held and got to be careful here. That was the foul on Shaquille. I yep. know what they're calling. Archibald reached up and grabbed him and took the foul intentionally, and Shaq is a, just being advised now that he was called for a technical foul. Shaq got the pass from Kareem Rush. He's going to take it up. He's being held on the arm, so he just <laughs> continues with his motion. And down to the floor goes Archibald, and Jalen Rose goes to the charity stripe to shoot the technical, trailing only by eight. Make it seven. Shaq will be shooting free throws at the other end. Now the key now for Shaquille, or for the Lakers, is to make sure Shaquille doesn't get uh, a little too aggressive. And 26 points, six of nine from the line. He also has seven rebounds and five assists. Free throw up and good for Shaquille. Devin George will come back on for the Lakers. He's replacing him. He's struggling from the floor as well. At least Horace has made a shot. Devin is nothing for four from the field, and Horace is one for eight. And Slava Medvedenko, the Lakers getting nothing this afternoon out of their starting forwards. Uh, both bothered by foul trouble, particularly Slava Medvedenko, both with his two points to their credit. And not much else in their columns. Carter with it on the clear out, squares up. Fisher comes over to help Carter down the lane. A running one-hander. It gets over the lip and falls. This is really, a, I have to give him credit for attacking today. I mean, normally settles for a lot of perimeter shots. This afternoon, he's doing a good job of attacking. Nice pass inside to Shaquille. This is going to be an interesting call. Carter came down inside and made the mistake of getting a little too close to Shaq. Then a little bit with the chin, and Shaquille's elbows and arms were there very easily. Could have lost some choppers on that play. And Shaq back to the free throw line to shoot a pair with a minute and 37 to play in the third. Shaq, 8 out of 11 from the strike. Got a nice stroke going this afternoon. Shaq now with 29 points. Watchable for about the first seven minutes of this period. Still only watching it without a one eye. <laughs> Free throws coming the other way now. As wow. and Rick Fox on the rebound attempt. Gets called for the hole. Rick picks up his fourth foul on that play. So what in this quarter? 13, 14, something like that? Oh. Free throw also missed. Well, we know who to foul. Remember that if it's necessary in the waning moments. But again, Stu, to your point, what the Lakers' lead was, we were talking about potentially getting some separation and blowing this team away as uh, Kareem Rush can't find Shaquille. And now instead we're talking about a very competitive fourth period with a back-to-back -back tomorrow at Indiana. Clear. Fisher will help if he can. Crossover, baseline, fall away, jump shot, not close. Shaq deflects the rebound. It's on the floor. Peterson, good hustle. Shaq's knocked down. And Rick Fox has got it. <laughs> This, I don't think there, either coach is going to want to save the tape of this game. Not unless they're gluttony for punishment. This tape should be lost. Susan, burn this one. Don't give it to him. <laughs> Shaq down in. Oh, what a tough shot by Shaquille, and he's on the floor again. Shaq's got 31. Oh, boy. 15 on the game clock, so Toronto will get a look at it. Shaq goes down inside, steps through the running hook, no. Gets it, had his own rebound, and now Toronto, with eight seconds remaining, will pull it back out. They gotta hurry up a little bit. They go back to Carter. The head fake runs inside, runs over Rick Fox. That's a bad play by Vince Carter. Strictly out of control, man. If you, if you, you ever wanted to see OC, you just got a chance to witness it. As Vince comes down, Rick is established position, basically, and just keeps going. Bang! Run into, right into the sternum. Knocks him down. Turnover. Still 2.7 seconds left in the quarter, so the Lakers can get up a, uh, a desperation shot here and maybe carry a little bit of momentum into the fourth, leading by 10. They're going to try to go to Shaquille. Mo Pete drops back. That pass is short. And Peterson's going to get a look at it. It'll count if it goes. Oh, it almost went. Well, reminiscent of Latrell's Freewell shot on Friday night. Wow, I'm glad that quarter's over, though, because it has to improve going into the fourth. That was not a pretty quarter. The Lakers lead it by 10.
on KCOW 9. His 12th rebound to go along with 15 points. Rose wants a screen around it, set by Bosch. Bosch rolls down into the lane. Medvedenko trying to guard him, and a nicely made shot by Bosch. Well, you know Slav is going to basically put his hands in his pocket. He's got four fouls. He wants to stay out there. He's only played ten minutes in the game. Bosch now with a dozen. Toronto strikes first in this final period. Grant wants it down inside. Going to look for cutters. Doesn't like to work with his back to the basket. Kareem rush with the leaner. The first basket for the Lakers in the fourth quarter. I was just getting ready to comment that either Kareem Rush or Derek Fisher are really going to have to be aggressive offensively with Shaq and uh, Gary both on the bench and free up somebody else. Jalen Rose just two of six. Here comes Medvedenko, finds some space, a difficult looking shot. He's really out of sync. Yeah, well, give Danielle some credit, yep. made him alter the shot. But like you said, uh, Slava, he hasn't really gotten his game on track since the early five. Picked up now on Carter. Carter doesn't attack him and steps back and makes a two-pointer. And that's what Vince does, though. Vince can, and he shoots it so quick. There's a late lead now, eight. This game is in real jeopardy as far as I'm concerned. Outside to Medvedenko, back to George. Well, only by Bosch. Here comes Toronto. The Lakers' lead is only eight. One more basket before the Lakers score, and Phil Jackson's yeah. going to have to either call a timeout or go back to Jack and Derek. Peterson kicks outside to Carter, back to Peterson. Ten on the shot clock, comes around the screen. Carter looked at a three, instead to Rose, into the corner now. Danielle Marshall, and he makes a three-pointer. And Shaq and Gary are going to have to come back right away. Well, we've got ourselves a ball game now. Five-point game with nine-plus minutes to play. Ten seconds left in a game where the Lakers seem to have a pretty much in hand, but it seems to be getting out of hand as we speak on KCOW 9. Toronto. The Lakers, uh, again, have to avoid getting Toronto to the line, where they've been all afternoon, at least through three periods. Jack with it, back to the basket, trying to carve out. So he's got some space, lays it up and in. Now that time when he came to the middle, and he gave a little head fake, a little subtle head fake. And then the defenders just parted. It's an easy one. In San Antonio, Chris Bosh, a wild shot down the lane. Medvedenko, good block out on Marshall, takes the rebound. You talk about changing a player's shot. When you see that there's a defender standing there, that last dribble, right before the last dribble, you have to start changing your direction. Kareem Rush looked, and he decided to pick up the dribble, but he kept going in the same direction. Picking up Jalen Rose. This has been Toronto's play so far. Outside the box, sets himself for a 17-footer. Yeah, he's much better pick and pop than he has pick and roll. And uh, that's because that frees him up for the shot that he really likes. Okay. We're matching his season high earlier this year. He misses that one, and Bosch takes the rebound. He's 10 out of 15 from the line. Vince Carter, 10 out of 14. Here comes Jalen Rose, picked up quickly by Peyton. Oh, Lakers in an illegal defense. Jack was in the lane a long, long time. And Jalen Rose, who needed some luck to knock down a shot, got a bounce. Lakers' lead is only four. Well, they cut a point off of the lead. Uh, Shaq only got one. They got two, so now it's a four-point event. Percent and a half. It certainly wasn't indicative of what was going to happen in the second 24 minutes. Here comes Carter around a couple of screens, picked up by Grant Fox, comes over to help. Fox, nice fake, attacks the basket, draws contact, and throws it in. That's a nice looking play by Chris Bosch that time. He's uh, trying to scramble to get back to him. Horace Grant comes over, Bosch goes up, throws it up, throws it in. Three point opportunity. It's a four point game right now, and Bosch looking to make it only three. Bosch, uh, a double double against Detroit, a losing overtime effort on Friday. 13 points, 13 rebounds, coming right back to do the same and more against the Lakers. Three point play is completed, and the Lakers' lead, which was once as many as 16, is down to three. So that's the player now that's going to have to free up. Carter pull up, jump shot, was looking for the tie. Shaq screaming out the defensive instructions, and Fisher quickly out of the backcourt. Jack wants it on the corner series. He's got a beautiful play. Chris Bosch coming from the weak side, and Shaq just powered right through it. 
Shaq and Rick Fox getting their defensive uh, communication straight. Shaq uh, a little miffed right now about the effort at the defensive end. Uh, that's the end where everybody has to definitely be on the same page. Carter steps inside, kicks it outside to Peterson. He's already hit a couple of threes. The air ball comes right to Carter. Nobody jumped but Carter on that air ball, and he gets an absolute easy one, and it's back to a three-point game again. Peyton looking inside to Shaquille. Again, the Lakers want to run the corner series. That's going to be an offensive foul. Yeah. When he caught it, he didn't keep it tucked. He let it out, let the ball and his arms get away from his body. And when he turned right into the defensive player's uh, chest and face area, as the entry pass from the uh, weak side, turnover Lakers, 421 to play in the game or in the fourth. They're holding on. Jack being double teamed. The Lakers taking a long time to get into their offense. They got to get into the seams, and they're not. Here comes Fisher. Tough chance for Derek, and a big shot just to beat the buzzer. Nice job, Derek. Very nice job of creating some space for yourself by dribbling into the cracks. Just hurts you. Lakers just five turnovers in the first half, Stu. Already eight here so far with just inside of three minutes to play. Carter working right side on the dribble. Kicks it outside to Peterson. Fisher runs him off the line. Jalen Rose wide open for 26 feet. Comes up short. Good block out by Grant. The ball goes to Carter who throws it up and in. And we're back to a three-point game. Bill Jackson up off the bench trying to get some control of this one as he felt that on that rebound attempt, the Toronto Raptors got away with a push. 2.42 to go on KCOW 9. Involved. Carter's put that gave him 24 points. But most importantly, it cut the Lakers' lead down to three if you're Toronto. Peyton down the lane. Goaltending is called against Box. They didn't call goaltending. Wow. No goaltending. They did not. No, they Bill didn't. Jackson up on the sideline. He's signaling for goaltending. It was so loud in here, I thought that the whistle was just drowned out. Bill is taking a 20-second timeout. He's asking for goaltending, and the official just called a technical foul on him. Well, you don't want a technical foul right now, but he got you're only up by three. He gets a technical foul, and he has used up his 20-second timeout. 20-second timeout on KCAL 9. Said no, Chris ba uh, Bosch with the nice defensive play. Jalen Rose to shoot the tee. Now it's a two-point game. 226 left to go in the fourth. Laker basketball with eight seconds from the shot clock. Look over to Carter, gets a screen. Marshall available over in the corner. Goes through his legs, down the lane. Lays it up, no. Grant there for the rebound battling. Carter dribbles it out of trouble. And Morris Peterson takes a terrible shot. Well, that was to beat the yeah, clock. Yeah. My mistake. That was to, I thought there was a reset. Good try on a second look by Morris Peterson. And I mean, that just about went down. The clock was at one. Peyton going baseline, runs out of real estate. A foul is going to be called against Peterson. I thought Carter's chance died here. That ball did not hit the iron. First free throw up and good, as is the second. The Lakers lead once again is four. Four-point lead still. This game is far from over. A minute oh, yeah. and 37 seconds left to play. The one thing you don't want to give up here is any kind of a three-point play on KCAL now. One stop and one score, and they should be in, in great shape. But they cannot let this team score on this trip down when it keeps them in that... Uh, 2-2 uh, position. Back to Marshall. Bosch rolls down the lane. Play finally comes to Carter. Working all the way left to right. It's stripped away. And the Rick Lakers Fox. take advantage. Rick Fox with the defensive play. There's the one stop. Now they need one score. They'll be in good shape. Great defensive play by Rick. After playing 15 minutes in the total in the first two games back, Fox has played 21 and counting here this afternoon. Shaq down inside. Throws it up over the top of the rim. Bosch takes the rebound. Inside of a minute to play. Now they're still in one and one because they did not score, so they need another stop. Carter away from the screen by Bosch. Kicks out to Peterson. Back to Carter. Shaq running at him. He's got the three. Well, that's a bad one there. That's a real bad one because that puts the Lakers in a position, even if they get fouled, they've got to score the two free throws, and you know they're going inside to Shaquille. 
Kevin O'Neill has told his team not to foul. Outside to Kareem Rush. Huge shot. Not there. Carter takes the rebound. Kevin O'Neill yelling at Vince Carter. The crowd is so loud here. They were separated by about a foot. And they finally get the timeout call. 29 seconds to go in the game. 20 on the 24 second clock. And Vince Carter has brought Toronto within a point on KCOW 9. Carter on the left side of the floor. They're looking for it. It comes in. He's guarded by Fox. The whole side of the floor is clear. Carter on the dribble behind his back. And a holding foul is going to be called against Fox. So it'll be free throws coming to Carter. And the uh, timeout called by a 20-second timeout called by the uh, Toronto Raptors. A 20-second timeout. Zero. Lakers have two. Ball comes into Bosch. Now to Jalen Rose. Peyton guarding him. Six on the shot clock. Outside to Carter. Looks at the clock. Comes left side. Peyton reaches in to help, and he's turned it over. Peyton maybe with a clinching basket. He stopped. He need to shoot. Don't shoot it, Gary. Puts it up, and the game is over. What a play defensively. Carter had the ball. He's forced back to his left, and the glove steps in to steal the deal. Well, that's what it was all about, that one stop. And Gary Payton just recognized where the spin was going to come from, slid over, and when he was ready, reached in, got his hand on the ball, and that was the old ball game. So let's go courtside with John Ireland. He's got a special gift. Thanks. I'm with Shaquille O'Neal. I know you were frustrated at how the officiating went, uh, officiating went down this stretch there, but you guys pulled it out and it was a big win. Davis trying to wonder why the league is losing money. That's why. People pay good money to come watch these athletes play and they try to take over the fucking game. Shaq, we're on live. I know. Let me ask you this. Obviously, this was a game that got away from you guys at the end, but what does it mean to get off on the right foot when you got to travel for the next two weeks? Well, we just got to, you know, play hard, play smart. We've been doing that. You know, we just want people to be, you know, consistent on how they call the game. So, you know, we, you know, if we just keep getting the ball inside, keep, you know, passing the ball, taking the hopper to the shot, we'll be fine. Season high in points for you. I thought it was the best you've looked since the early part of the season. Are you feeling 100% yet? I'm feeling pretty good. My teammates were looking for me today. You know, they kept bringing me the ball time in and time out. And every time they do that, then I can do this every night. Appreciate you stopping. That's Shaquille O'Neal. Back to you. Well, a frustrating afternoon, but just think how frustrating it would have been if the Lakers had lost this one. They win it 84-83. We'll be right back.